Okay, we are back, and we got a very special guest. Definitely, we are honored to have this great fighter on the line with us. He is going to be coming back to the United States on the 9th of March, and he's going to be facing undefeated prospect Keith Thurman at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. And like I said, with, with great pleasure it is, is to welcome him on the show. He's all the way in Germany right now by way of Slovenia. He is the former IBF World Welterweight Champion, Jan Zavik. Jan, how are you doing tonight, champ? Hello, hi. I am very well, thank you. And I'd like to say, first of all, nice, nice results. Uh, every, everyone to the United States, and I am very, very happy that I can uh, over again fight in the United States, especially New York, because uh, United is this like my my special place where I feel very good, and I'm very happy about that. I want to ask you this. Champ, I don't want to, you know, I hate to bring up the past. You are an extremely popular fighter. You have thousands and thousands of fans over in Europe, from your home country, Slovenia. You have thousands of fans in Germany. The last time you came to the United States, it didn't necessarily go your way. You came to Mississippi, and you and, Al, uh, you and Andre Berto fought in a great fight. A cut over your eye, over your right eye, stopped the fight. How have you recovered? We know you've had a victory uh, last year. I mean, it's almost been a year since the last time you fought. How has your recovery been, your eye and your last battle with Andre Berto? Yeah, you know, uh, really, I'm appreciated for this offense, what I have around in the world. Uh, and I must just say, first of all, loose. Loose is one of part uh, sports. Of course, we... All, all sportsmen would like to just to win, and we like to win, not lose. But uh, accidents happened and lose happened, and everything for that we can learn something about uh, our life, our experience. And yes, of course, many times it's not figure out uh, which way you go uh, going on. Uh, or you make, or you surf, from what do you do, or something like that. But I didn't have any problem with that because I know my fans stay behind me and they make me stronger. And I know just one: I wish, I wish that my maximum, my personally maximum. And I thank you to all my fans. Without that, that I make really, really special fights. And I know, and everybody know in the United States happened all the best fights in the world. And I don't like behind or, uh, or stay secret in, at home in Germany or Slovenia. I'd like to prove myself and my fans that I can box in also in the United States. There is very, very, very a special respectful fighter and uh, I'm very happy and that is my life and that is my dream box to United States and also uh, I burn I burn really burn for win and I know that come sooner or later now John you you have you know your upcoming fight Keith Thurman here in the United States a lot of people are talking very good about him they, they think he's going to be the next world champion. He has 19 wins. 18 of those wins are by knockout. He's showing very impressive skill inside the ring. How did this fight come about? You haven't fought in almost one year, but how did this fight come about? How did the call come to you to come back to the United States to fight this undefeated prospect? You know, uh, very serious because uh, my look – to my career is uh, quite simple. I like to do that what I like. And uh, when came this uh, chance, this pos possibility that we fight, I fight with Kit, I take it right away because I know he's a a good, strong fighter. I didn't saw uh, much fight from him. That just that was his YouTube and something like that. But I know he is strong, he is young, he is hungry to win, uh, but I am also, I am old. Yes, of course, I am old. 
I'm experienced and I train, I train very, very hard for this, my work. And uh, I, I, I can just say that, uh, yes, Kit is going to be big, big, big champion, world champion. But sorry, not today because uh, not my mark of mine because he is still young and he has still time that he gets world champion. But uh, sorry, not this time because this time I took this chance and I know he had also also the same uh, the same wish. But uh, you know, I know and I do and I live for that 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 and this day. And uh, there is no other possibility like I go home when I win, then I go home. And then it was promised for my friends and my country and myself. And uh, like that, going to be stay. Well, I, I like the way that sounds, John. And I want to I ask you one more thing, too. Um, your, the former title that you held, uh, the IBF welterweight title, I know that's something you want to get back. It's something that you didn't want to give up. You did mention, you know, losing is a part of the sport, but I know you cherish that title. You were a proud champion. What are your thoughts on the current IBF champion, Devin Alexander? Yeah, I must, uh, I must say he is also every champion, every champion. It's not depend uh, how he came to become a world champion. It must first one hard hard and long time to train and every camp in each category and each division and uh, especially Alexander or uh, Timothy Bradley or Mayweather is, is not depends who uh, I must to say every champ is respectful from my side but nobody is uh, champ forever nobody and Devon Alexander is very good fighter, very good technical, and I I think he has a great future. I know when we are one time a champion, then we are attacked from any boxer in the world, and uh, soon or later or later came somebody who wanted who wanted that take. But uh, now and this time in welterweight, I think is. Nobody 100% uh, champion for, I don't know, next uh, two, three years. Because it is many guys who have, have good fighters. And uh, anybody can win and anybody can lose with uh, anybody. Yeah, and I want to pass you over to my co-host, Tim Cudgel. I know he had a question for you. Tim. Hey, I just got one question, champ. Um if you're successful against Keith Thurman on uh, March 9th at the Barclays Center, who, what champions will you have in your sights? What guys will you be looking at to get another shot at, at one of the belts? Yes, of course. Uh, I must be honest. Uh, honest. Uh, I don't see any any other resolution like win because uh, that is only one resolu- resolution what I make. And uh, of course, uh, we all looking looking forward to uh, uh, example Mayweather, uh, Marquez, Pacquiao, and everybody. And I said, just give it to me chance. Give it to me chance first one with Keith, uh, then maybe Bradley. Big fight, and I have time. And I am passionate, and I know my dream is gonna be. Uh, really uh, big name like Mayweather because Mayweather is from me only and one boxer who really really champion. But uh, I I tell you just that that I I thanks I gonna be also win uh, Mayweather sometime. Yeah, and one more, I have one more. My other co-host Jenna J. Uh, I knew she had a quick question for you. She wanted to say hello, Jenna. Hey, Jan. Yeah. I have a question for you, and this is in regards to fighting Keith Thurman because, you know, look, he, he's young. He's 19-0, and 0, 18 KOs, like Frank said, but he's never gone the distance. He's never gone 12 rounds. Now, my question for you is, strategy-wise, is it something you want to do, try to bring him into the deep waters and drown him? Uh, thank you, Jana, uh, for question. Of course, I, I said uh, it's 
experience and this stuff is it is and the mindset uh, this younger stronger and this this stuff uh, stay by kid but i know and every fighter know that in fight uh, happened many 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 things who nobody expected and i know experience and uh, everything what i am till now all my life all my sport life uh, survive I gonna be used it in this fight, and I think that's gonna be enough for victory for me. All right. Now, if this fight goes the distance, being this is in the United States, do you think you'll get a decision against a young up-and-comer like Keith Thurman? Yes. Yes, of course. I'm not. I'm not busy with 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 judge or something like that. I know. I must. I must be two times better fighter like. Mm, home fighter that is uh, totally clear and I do that uh, I am prepared for that and uh, I do that Jen I gotta ask you one more I gotta ask you one more question you know we're gonna we're gonna you know this this interview here is being streamed all across the world we know you have fans here in yeah. the United States the you know the first time you fought yeah, here in the United you. States I became a fan you know the, it was a great fight with you and Berto uh, I did get an opportunity to watch your fight uh, with you and Raphael Jackowitz, uh, sensational fight. Even your fight with Paul Delgado was a great fight, great victory for you. But do you have a message for all your fans across the world uh, that will be tuning in March 9th, what they can expect from you? Yes, of course, I have a message. Uh, for each, uh, for each uh, my friends I have, and also these, what is not uh, still my friends, and it's gonna be after this fight. Uh, I have just one message. Uh, came that to see, and came that to see somebody who really want to win. Uh, also for people, not just for me, uh, because I'd like to do something. Or I'd like to make money or something like that. I do this stuff also for my fans, for people who 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 wish me all the best and. Uh, Exactly. Uh, I do that for people who I like and uh, for people uh, which one I like. Let me ask you one more question before we let you go. One more question. Your real name is Dijan Zavich, and I think I said that right, but you go by the name of John Zavik. Why, why do you do Is it because everybody pronounces it that way, or is that a nickname? Why do you go by the two different names? Yeah, Mohamed Ali or Cassius Clay. <laughs> a little bit yeah. funny. No. <laughs> no, a little bit funny because I came from uh, Slovenia. I came to boxing in Germany. And, and Germany has also also problem with my name. My real name is Dejan Zalec. And in Germany has also problem to say Dejan Zalec. And that's why it's in Germany Jan Jan Zalec. Uh, something about that uh, example for easier say to my name uh, also marketing uh, for business and this stuff uh, they cannot say easy Dejan Zavec and that's why I'm Jan Zavec I, I appreciate you declaring that and you know what you're you're a great champion and, and you know what champ I wish you all the best here at the 9th of March. Um, you know, Keith Thurman, I know he's young, but you're more experienced. And I think this is going to be a great fight. And anybody here listening in right now, please tune in to this fight. This is going to be a great fight. If you ever saw uh, Jan Zavik fight, he is, he's all action. He gives everybody their money's worth. And, you know, Keith Thurman uh, is, is another one up and coming. Jan Zavik, we appreciate your time tonight. I want to wish you all the best in your upcoming fight. We look forward to seeing you here again in the United States, and we would love to welcome you back on the show once again sometime in the future, if, if possible. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time to call me, and I promise I'm going to be not disappointed nobody. Uh, and uh, I wish all the best, and uh, uh, here in Europe is already time for sleep, and that's why I say it. Uh, Thank you, America, and goodbye, America. Good Thank you, John Zavik. You have a great night, champ. God bless. Thank you. God bless you also, all America. Bye. Thank you, champ.